And now to the new book, Reframing the Mindset of Hardworking Women Everywhere Who Want to Earn More and Worry Less, Think Like a Breadwinner, breaks down how to build your wealth and teach the next generation to do the same. Juju Chang sat down with the author and financial expert Jennifer Barrett. Good morning, Juju. Good morning, Amy. You know, when we think breadwinner, we still tend to think man, even though the world doesn't even work like that anymore. For Jennifer Barrett, the wake-up call came as a young mom when her husband lost his job, and she realized, I need to step up. I need to start thinking like a breadwinner. In the 1960s, less than 4% of women earned more than their husbands, compared to 49% in 2018, which means traditional gender roles have simply become outdated. The demographics of women in America have changed dramatically, and yet our mindset hasn't. The research shows that parents actually talk differently about money to their daughters than they do to their sons. And so they're talking to their daughters about how to budget and how to spend smartly, and they're talking to their sons about how to invest and build credit and build wealth and those are such critical skills and most girls are just not getting that education. Jennifer Barrett is author of Think Like a Breadwinner and says society's old-fashioned assumption that men are the breadwinners contributes to the gender pay gap that finds women earning 82 cents for every dollar earned by a man. For a lifetime that adds up. Oh my gosh even a five thousand dollar difference in an annual salary has this exponential effect over the course of your career. So it could add up to a million dollars in lost earnings, which is just astounding. And so here's the big takeaway from your book. How do we go about getting paid equally in the workplace? Yes. We so often are socialized as women, but if we work hard, we will be rewarded for it. And that is the case in school. But then when you go into the workplace, it's not the same. You really need to toot your own horn. It's not just as simple as just walking in and saying, you know, I, I know that I'm probably underpaid. I should get a raise. It's really doing your research and finding out what your market value is. So what are other people getting paid in similar roles? Because numbers don't lie. It's really hard to argue with data. And that also helps take the emotion out of it. And Barrett says it's all about working smarter, not harder. Organizing a meeting or cleaning up after a meeting or organizing, buying cards for the holidays, women are still more likely to pick up those kinds of tasks. And what that does is take us away for the work that we are actually being judged on, that we're actually going to be promoted on. And so it does us no good to be picking up all this extra work. So it's really about working smarter and really focusing on that work that has the highest return and really will help you get that next promotion. It's about saving and investing. It's the perfect manifesto for the single ladies and the single moms out there. But if you're married and you're the breadwinner, the key to success is getting spouses to pick up more of the housework. Because let's face it, the real benefit is having both spouses involved with the kids and with home life. Think Like a Breadwinner is out now. Amy? Amazing. All right. Thank you, Juju, for that. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.